<laughs> Aaron, thank you very much. Well, you might not know it, but here in Kern County, we actually make roofing materials that make their way around the country. Cammy Brown is live this morning finding out exactly how they're made. Hey, Cammy. Hey, good morning. You know what's for crazy is that you probably drive past here on the 99 multiple times and had no idea that this existed. Right when you see the sign that welcomes you to Shafter, this is where GAF is. Now listen, guys, this is really a huge location. And we're talking about roof shingles. What exactly is this that's, that's going through right now? It's fiberglass, right? That's the fiberglass mat that we start our process with. So this fiberglass mat is impregnated with an asphalt, okay. and then the granules are applied to the top of that. Okay, so the fiberglass is just going in through here right now, and then as we can see it go up, where is it going to? This is just an accumulator section that allows us to run a continuous process, so the line never slows down or stops, even when we have to go from one roll of mat to the next. We okay. just make a splice. Okay, perfect. All right, let's walk on down so you can see the process, guys, of exactly how this works. Now, these roof shingles will be shipped to the western United States, Canada, all the way sometimes to Asia, all being created here uh, right outside Kern County. So now we can see the uh, the fiberglass is coming down here. And what's happening? I see a lot of steam over here. Well, right in this area is where the asphalt, the filled coating, is impregnated and coated onto the fiberglass mat. Okay, and once that and once that happens, then it's going to come down over here. We go just a little farther. Okay. You can see where the granules are being applied to the top. Then the then the uh, mat, the web goes around, and then granules are applied to the back side as well. So it completely coat the asphalt with the granules. Okay, and so what what is the purpose of doing this to the fiberglass? The uh, asphalt provides the protection, the waterproofing for your roof, and then the granules both provide UV protection for the asphaltic coating as well as the aesthetics. So all the different colors that you'll see on your roof get applied right in here. Right now we're making black. Okay, and we're going to show you guys exactly all the different colors that they make here. You're really going to get to get a bird's eye view to see all these shingles. Now listen, let me tell you guys, I found people who have a worse shift than we do. 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So they're looking to go home here in just a little bit as we are actually starting our day. Uh, again, just a reminder, we are at GAF. And you, if you look it up online, actually, a yeah, huge corporation, guys, and based right out here in Shafter. Pretty amazing. Fascinating to know that uh, it goes so far. Cammy, by the way, looking good. Nice outfit there. They knew you were going to see My that. safety equipment. Yeah, safety first. <laughs> safety first. All right, Cammy, thank you very much. He is live this morning at the GAF plant in Shafter showing us exactly how they are made. Good morning, Cammy. Yeah, good morning, John. Now, earlier we showed you that white fiberglass. You can see behind me, not white anymore. This, the underside that you're seeing, that color, that's the part of the roof shingle that's actually going to go on the roof. So let me take you down here, further down. So the fiberglass goes all through all of this over here, guys, to be able to get end up over there to get its color. But here's what's really crazy. Not only do they do black they do a lot of different colors and they also have quality control and bear with me this is a huge huge facility so you can see right here these are all the different colors that GAF roofing does here and the last one this black right here that's the one that you just saw that color now if you go down over here as well they do quality control now, how exactly does this work, Russ? Because they all look the same to me. What's the purpose of this? Well, our operators pull samples every hour. So the sample on the left was maybe pulled an hour ago, and then the sample on the right was pulled just very recently, and then the one in the middle is the standard. So they should all look exactly the same. So every shingle, like a McDonald's hamburger, is always the same. Now, now what happens if you, if you notice, hey, this group isn't looking as good? Well, we make adjustments. If, if we need to, if it's no good, we'll throw it out. Now, why is that? Is that because the, the machine has a has an error or because there might be something wrong with the fiberglass? Why does that happen? That's a very good question. I wish I could answer that beautifully. <laughs> There's a lot of variation that goes into these shingles. Okay. We check the granules 
when they come in so we know whether the color is exactly right or not and then we blend them together ourselves to get the light to the dark colors and sometimes that'll be a mistake uh, the colors won't be exactly right so when they come out and they go on the shingles they're not exactly the same as they were an hour ago okay perfect let me show you this john so you can see this is the granules now you saw that white fiberglass this, these yeah, those granules is what are giving it the color that is then burned into the uh, into the fiberglass there. As you can see earlier, we showed you all that steep. Now coming up, we are going to give you a bird's eye view so you can see exactly how these shingles get cut. This is really amazing, everything that goes on here. Uh, again, we are at GAF. These, these shingles that are made here will mainly ship to the western United States but they will go as far as Canada and Asia as well. There are about six other plants that are uh, just as big as this. That's right outside Kern County here in Shafter. Pretty amazing that all this happens right off the 99, and you probably had no idea this plant was here. Hey, Kebby, how many shingles do they make in a day there? About how many shingles a day do you guys make? Uh, we make enough shingles to roof about 500 to 600 roofs every day. Wow. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Crazy. All right. Can be. Very cool. Thank you very much. In Kern County, finding out exactly how they're Hey, good morning. Not just the country, we're talking all around the world as far as Asia, may right here in Shafter. Pretty crazy. Now, how this all starts out, it's a big roll of fiberglass that is white. Then you can see LJ showing you all the way down there. It comes all the way this way. And then if you look right over here, LJ, you can see how it's turned the color black. They're able to use a little little pieces of grains that actually color the fiberglass. And then as it's coming down right there, it's going to get cut. And then we see it end up right down here. Now, Miguel, what is happening through all this machinery? Well, Camby, after the process then makes our web, which you just pointed out, it comes into what we call our number one cutter. It cuts that web into eight different lanes, four shrimp lanes and four dragon tooth lanes. They run through this machine, the laminator, and it's laminated with an adhesive, a modified adhesive that we blend. It continues on, it's combined into four lanes. Those four lanes are next moved over to a number two cutter area, which that part of the machine cuts our shingles to length. Okay, so these shingles get cut, and then we can see right here, they actually get packaged, and you can see the finished product right over here as it's all packaged and ready to go out and get loaded up on a truck. How many people are needed to man these machines? Well, right here we use about six, seven, sometimes eight. It depends on how much we're doing and where we're working at. Okay. But for this side of the machinery on the pageant department. Yeah, pretty amazing, guys, all the work that these machines do in here to be able to make these shingles and get them all packaged up without ever needing somebody's hands to touch them. Now, the only time that the, that the people will be handling these shingles is if there's a problem like a jam. Is that right? That's correct. Not only a jam, also on our quality inspections that we do in our catch the box area back here. We do a lot of quality inspections. Every 15 minutes, actually, somebody's handling a bundle, okay. looking through it, tearing it apart, tearing they, shingles they, apart. They want to make sure that these machines make every single shingle look exactly the same hour after hour, minute after minute. So very cool to be out here at GAF this morning. They make up enough shingles every single day for about five to 600 homes. Crazy. And also, they get to wear this every day. Pretty stylish. <laughs> I'm sure they love it. I'm sure that's a favorite part of their job. Yep, highlight. I get to wear the hard hat. I look so cute. <laughs> Camby, thank you very much. It's go all around the world. How's it going, Camby? Hey, it's going great. First of all, I have to tell you, you're not required to wear a uh, hard hat outside. But you just my like hair. It? No, it's just not looking good after oh. the hard hat. So we didn't have enough time to fix it, so we're just rolling with it. But the safety goggles you still have to wear. These are actually required. Now listen, if locally, if you wanted to be able to uh, purchase these, you could go to Home Depot. That's where they're sold locally. Also, there's two roofers here in Bakersfield who sell them. It's a GWC, is that right? BWC, excuse me, and Wilson. So they are sold here locally as well, although they go as far as Asia. Now we're outside. 
everything that's packaged white was made inside, what we showed you earlier. And one of the big things, one of the reasons that a lot of people move here to Bakersfield is what's right over here, the railroad. It makes it really easy to get everything in and out of here. Now, you guys have all of this going on right now. We have the guys on the forklifts who are actually loading up the trucks. How does this work to be able to know what needs to go where and how much are you guys taking out day by day? Uh, we're taking out day by day. We're loading about anywhere between 80 to 100 trucks. Okay. Um, the, the guys do get work orders. Um, it tells them how many pallets they need of the different colors that we have. Uh, there's row numbers assigned to every row out here. Um, that directs them where to go. About how many shingles are we talking about that are all out here? Right now we got about 400,000 400, squares. Um, not sure how many pallets that equates to, but it's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. It's a little overwhelming. Uh, how much training does it take to get these guys to know where they're going to be able to get these pallets? It takes them about three weeks of training, constantly loading trucks uh, in order for them to get the hang of it. This guy here has actually been doing it for uh, 13 years. Okay, and this is like a 24-hour job. You guys are always out here loading up these trucks, getting them shipped out. Where is this truck going to go to? Uh, this truck will be going up north uh, into the LA area, or I'm sorry, south to the LA area. Okay, perfect. And so this will go, and then where does where do they take the shingles to? Uh, these particular ones are going to directly to a customer. Oh, they are. Okay, right. so a customer, it's a direct order. And you, are you guys ever shipping things that are then going on the railroad? How does this stuff get to Canada and to Asia? Uh, to Canada, we actually ship it via rail or by truck. Uh, to Asia, uh, containers, overseas containers. Okay, and so you guys are, are actually handling that as well out here? Correct. Okay, a lot of stuff going on out here at GAF, guys. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to see exactly how the shingles are made, make sure that you check out our Facebook page uh, in the next couple couple of hours we'll be able to put that up there so you can see everything that goes on inside it is a very big production lots of heavy machinery that's able to make these shingles be able to get on out there and get on the roof of your house john camp who knows i may need a new roof one day so why don't you pick up a couple thousand for me while you're out there <laughs> just bring them back just okay. while you're there a couple since thousand? you're out there yeah anyway. just bring them back for me to be appreciated no problem you Thanks. got it